Welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. Welcome to my craft room. <laughs> so I swear, I swear people, one of these days you're gonna see me in a not my pajamas. And one of these days I'm gonna have some makeup on. And one of these days I'm gonna straighten out my hair <laughs> and do my hair. But let's see, today is day six since surgery, day to be home, right? Saturday, Sunday, well, got three full days to be home from the hospital. I am feeling a lot better. You know, every once in a while, you forget, you know, because you're feeling good. And like, I just went to push something in the garbage, boom, shouting pain, shooting pain where my incision is. But other than that, I, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm still taking it really easy because I don't want to jeopardize like the doctor said, and rupture her repair on the double hernia. But uh, I am feeling better every day. I was uh, supposed to go to town today and do my paperwork for my disability papers, but you actually have to be out of work for one full week before you can file, which is tomorrow. So I'm going tomorrow. Let me show you my mandala art and where we are. Then we'll chat while I daub. <laughs> so, all right, so here we are. This is how far I've gotten. So now basically, you guys, it's basically just putting it together, just filling in, filling in, filling in, which takes a long time, but I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and then you won't see me really, but you'll hear me. So, okay, so now I'm going to start filling in with, right in here, this area, uh, with purple and white. And then the whole thing, it was white, yellow, orange, and blue and purple. And then blue and purple is going to fill this whole thing in. And I'm actually just so, um, God, I'm just so amazed with myself that I've gotten this far. Because usually, and there's a few of you out there that know, that have said, that uh, made comments, on my other videos that it's so hard or you've tried it or you know it's not a walk in the park and a lot of people think and I was one of them when I first started doing this I thought they were so cool and I thought oh heck how hard is it to daub dots onto a piece of canvas that can't be hard well it's not easy that's for sure and the uniformity of it is that a word is uniformity a word <laughs> um, to be uniform with it you know is the biggest catcher. Well, darn it, I was trying to, all right. So, anyways, um, yeah, and it's still not completely uniform, and I think that's just gonna be one of those things that is going to be literally practice makes perfect, and I will do another one of these after this one. I'm gonna try to do a different um, pattern, but I don't think we're gonna do six videos <laughs> or whatever. I might show it to you when it's all finished, so. Um, but, you know, I always do like to just craft, do something crafty, and I love to bake and to cook, and so I told myself I feel good enough tomorrow I'm going to do a cooking video, and I think my cooking video is going to be on how to make my stuffed eggs, because every time we have a potluck at work, or if it's my boss's birthday, or it's boss's day, or we go to a family potluck or barbecue, I'm always asked to bring my stuffed eggs. Some people call them deviled eggs. I call them stuffed eggs, but I'm always asked to bring those. They're so easy. Everybody does them different. I just noticed today that uh, Granny B did a video on them today and, um, and hers are even different than mine. So it's just fun to watch everybody and how they do them. I'm just getting paint all over me. <laughs> But um, anyway, so I think tomorrow I am going to actually do a video in the kitchen of me making stuffed eggs. And then on Friday, I've got the rest of my supplies coming for my bubblegum cupcakes. And we are going to do that. I'm just going to have my husband pick up my mixer from under the cupboard and put it on the counter for me. And um, I'm gonna get back to business here because I have now hit 300. 
and I'm very excited about that and I'm humbled and I'm thankful for every single one of you that have got me to 300. I really, really, it means so much to me. And um, so I'm going to do my drawing tomorrow. It might actually come, the drawing might come before this video, I'm not sure. And I just, yeah, I'm just really happy with how my YouTube channel is going. And I'm so grateful for all the people that I have met through YouTube from doing my videos and meeting other um, channels and, and, not, and people that don't have channels but are loyal to, um, see this is where it gets kind of hard other channels that are loyal, I mean other subscribers that are just very loyal, They're, they don't have channels, but they love to watch my channel and um, and they comment all the time and they faithfully watch all my shows and I appreciate them. So I'm not the steadiest hand, so when I get like this, I'm actually going to flip it over. What are you doing, Taylor? Oh. Um, I'm going to flip it over so that I don't put my hand back into the wet paint. So, and what happens with this canvas now to the point I'm at right now is that a lot of times I have to completely just stop and walk away and let it dry because I don't want to put my hand into the wet dots and smear them because I would be, oh my gosh, you guys, I would be so sad. <laughs> So anyway, so what I was saying is I didn't go in today and do my disability papers. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, the doctor did tell me that I could drive as long as I wasn't on any pain medication. And so the last pain pill I took was last night at um, like 9.30. And so today about one o'clock in the afternoon, I got in the car, I got dressed and um, certainly wasn't anything fancy because I couldn't put a bra on you guys because the bra strap under your breast is right where my incision is <laughs> it's four inches right there and um, it's still tender so there was no bra just went in a big baggy t-shirt <laughs> um, maybe that's too much information TMI but anyways um, and I can't <laughs> can't shave my legs <laughs> because I can't bend over oh my gosh the struggle is real you guys <laughs> but anyway so I went to town in a pair of capris and a t-shirt and no makeup done just like I look now except for in street clothes I guess but I went into town I got a refill on my potassium and my blood pressure medicine and then um, I got the prizes for the drawing for my 300 subscribers and that was all at this pharmacy where I work at and it's uh, 10 miles into town for me and 10 miles home of course and then I seriously went straight into town and what are you guys doing? My cat is being bizarre. Ster seriously went straight into town and straight home after I shopped at the pharmacy and visited with all my co-workers for a few minutes and I was wore out that that was enough for me so um, tomorrow I'm going to go back into town to do the disability papers and I would really love to take a trip to Yuba City but I know I'm not ready yet maybe next week um, just to I don't know go to Ross or Marshalls or Michaels or something just to get out and maybe meet up with my daughter-in-law and my son in Yuba City and have some lunch somewhere just to visit, but I don't want to overdo it. So anyways, well, here is what I have done so far with my mandala. And now it's just seriously going to be just filling in, filling in. And, um, until tomorrow guys thank you for tuning in with me thank you for having patience because i know a lot of you guys really like when i do my cooking videos and that's my favorite thing to do as well 
and I just have not had the energy to do that but I am soon going to get back into that kitchen um, I think I might actually hire somebody to come out just one day and really get in and help me clean. I just need to vacuum, mop, sweep, dust, do the bathroom. And my husband's been helping me a lot, but he has a lot still he has to do. And uh, his back is not the greatest. So um, I think I might just hire um, a teenage girl just to come out and help me one day for about four hours. I think we could do it all. Not we, I'll sit in the recliner and show her what I need done. But that might be very helpful. So after this mandala art, I think I am going to do a uh, um, button craft. And I will share that with you guys as well. And I'm gonna do some shout out, some shout outs pretty soon because I have met so many new channels lately. It's just amazing. Yeah, you know, I mean, how many in the world? How many channels do you guys think you're subscribed to? Because I don't even know how many channels. And if I subscribe to a channel, then I really want to be loyal to them and watch their their videos and comment to them. You know, because I want them to do that to me. But my gosh, there's a lot of great channels out there. There's a lot of great information. So, all right. Hi, <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a great evening. Thank you for joining me once again for Mandala Art number four. This is how far we are. And I think what I'm going to do is Next time I bring you to see my mandala art, we're going to be done. We're going to be all done. <laughs> or we're going to have one little thing left to do and then we're going to be done. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself for getting this far because usually I give up or I get aggravated. But this is a pattern I seem to be able to work with. So I like it. So, all right, you guys, take care. Have a great day. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.